You're tuned in to Ask the Master Auto Technician. Car questions? Get answers right now. Call 850-763-0555. James Auto Center. We fix it right. Guaranteed. Beep, 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 beep. Yeah. All right. Welcome back to Ask the Master Auto Technician. It's Wednesday morning show, and I told you I had a special guest calling out. Well, he's not a special guest. He's a regular here. Every Thursday morning, we get Brian Armstead calling all the way from Maryland. And I couldn't remember Maryland state motto. What is uh, Maryland? The, not the land of enchantment. That's New Mexico. <laughs> eat crabs or die. No, it's not eat crabs or die. <laughs> no, it's live free or die as a granite state. Dude, I have no idea. I've only lived here for 56 years. I'm only... expecting to know something like that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to put you on the spot there. <laughs> you did. <laughs> oh, well, I have anyway. no idea. Uh, well, I don't. I don't. It's on the license plate. I don't know. I know it's on the license plate, but you know, but we were talking about your, you test drove the Cadillac, what was it, the XT5? Is that what you're going to be talking about? 2017 Cadillac XT5. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. Tell me a little bit about it. It's, it's, it. You told me something last night that it's the replacement for the SRX crossover. Yeah, okay. it, it, it's the replacement for the SRX. Cadillac is going to a new uh, Alpha numeric type of, uh, um, you know, uh, naming for their cars. Uh, mm -hmm. So the SRX becomes the XT5. And, you know, the SRX was a fine crossover utility mm -hmm. in its own right. Yeah. Not as big or lux as, a, as luxurious as the Cadillac Escalade, mm -hmm. but also not a truck-based SUV like the Escalade was. So, therefore, you didn't have the weight. You didn't have right. the size. Yep. Uh, you didn't have the fuel economy penalty that the uh, that comes or the cost <laughs> True. that comes with the Escalade. Now the uh, SRX um, replaced with the 2017 XT5. Mm -hmm. I got a chance to go up to Newfoundland to uh, Fogo Island, which is part of Newfoundland in Canada. And uh, for those history buffs, uh, Newfoundland used to be a separate nation and then joined Canada two decades ago. Oh. I don't I don't recall the exact number of years, but. Um, what an idyllic place to to visit, first of all, but then an idyllic place to show the progression of Cadillac because Newfoundland, uh, Fogo Island, had to reinvent itself. Mm -hmm. You know, they once were a major cod fishery, mm. and then when the cod stock started to dwindle, mm -hmm. they had to reinvent themselves and start to uh, harvest lobster mm. and shrimp, which turned out to be a lot more profitable than the cod that they used to ah. produce. And I think you can make the same kind of analogy with Cadillac. You know, Cadillac, one of the storied marks. I'm looking at some lapel pins that were given to me by a Cadillac executive. Mm -hmm. You go back to the, you know, the 1920s and 1930s, 1940s even, and 50s. Cadillac produced world-class automobiles. I mean, think of the 12-cylinder cars they used to produce in the 1930s. Yes. So... They kind of lost their way a little bit, mm. but now under the uh, leadership of their new uh, global uh, boss, Johan de Nation, they've reinvented themselves, and they're starting to get back to what Cadillac is famous for, technology, luxury, performance, yeah. and style. Now, because I'm, back in the day, yes, you're right the African-American community, mm -hmm. you didn't have a Cadillac, you didn't have a car. <laughs> so true. So with the 2017 XT5, uh, they've really uh, just they've taken the edges off of the SRX and smoothed them out a little bit. Mm -hmm. The high shoulder belt, that a shoulder line that runs from the D pillar in the rear and gently slopes towards the A pillar in the front mm -hmm. is still there, but it's a little more pronounced. Okay. The front is not as brash as on the old SRX. It doesn't have the grill that just kind of slams Cadillac in your face. Mm -hmm. Instead of that bold, wide bar grill up front. It now has a multi-bar, thin slatted grill, and it also has those signature Cadillac LED headlights mm. that flow from the top of the hood down to the bottom of the bumper. Got to tell you, it's a real exciting look, James. Mm. And when you see when you see one coming up from behind, or if you're a pedestrian and you see one coming at you on the road, you're like, okay, I know that that's a Cadillac because I love those signature LEDs uh -huh. up front in the rear. It uh, still has the same LED system, and also the uh, LED sweep from the lower part of the bumper into the D-pillar, mm -hmm. and it makes for, and you, you no longer have to put a red reflecting light on the back because oh. of the way uh, that the uh, the taillights sweep up into the D-pillar. Mm -hmm. Look inside the taillights and the headlights, and you see the beautiful Cadillac crest. That's a nice little touch there. Uh, for 2017, you can get 20-inch wheels. Mm -hmm. The wheels also make a difference as well. On the old SRX, the wheels were much like the grill. Yeah. They just made too much of a statement. They were too 
too broad and too brash and didn't quite say, I'm luxury. It, it, they kind of said, I want to be luxury, but not quite there. These new wheels are then spoke like the grill. They complement each other beautifully. Mm -hmm. And yes, they say luxury. All right. One of the really nice features on the car, and I, you know, I know we, we're short on time. No, but we got, so we got to talk about. I've got about another six minutes on here, and you can talk about okay. Cadillac because people so want to know. Fast. One of the things that I really wanted to talk about on the car was the available electronic rear view mirror. Now, you know, your typical rear view mirror has a setting, you know, electrochromatic, when mm -hmm. you know, light shine on it at night, you can, yeah. you know, kind of dim out the bright headlights. Mm -hmm. Right. This is an actual camera built into the rear of the car that shows up as the rear view mirror. Ah. Now, when you're driving along, you have an electronic rear view mirror. And i got to tell you, in, in dim weather or bad weather, it makes a tremendous difference to be able to see that six inches of, of what's going on behind you all the time without just a quick glance and maybe you'll get a quick, you know, a, a decent shot because the weather is decent or maybe not. Mm -hmm. what, a, what a nice bit of technology from Cadillac with this electro, uh, this real-time electro rear-view mirror. It's only available on the Platinum package, right. but uh, it's, it's quite, the, uh, it's quite, the, quite the, um, the package. So it's not a now, mirror. It's, it's a camera. So when you're looking at what you think is a rear-view mirror, it's really you're looking at a camera screen? Am I correct? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. You, that's new. Yeah, that's an unusual. It, yeah, it's, it's really cool. It's, it's mm. a real trick. Now, that's ultimately going to lead to electronic cameras on the sides of the cars. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, autonomous it's driving. Really, uh, really kind of cool the way they, uh, they put that all into perspective and into play. Uh -huh. The Cadillac S XT5 crossover utility starts at 38995 mm -hmm. Well, a fully loaded one can go well up into the 70s. I bet. So you have to pick your options judiciously. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, if you want a full-tilt SUV with all of the, you know, advanced telematics on board, it's got the uh, Cadillac user um, entertainment system, Q telematics. Mm -hmm. It's got a unique rail system in the trunk where you can store luggage and a 40-20-40 rear seat split. Uh, the middle row uh, uh, does has unique configurations, including sliding middle row seats. Now, this is only a uh, two-row uh, SUV, but you can adjust the uh, sliding seat in the rear. Uh, the sound system is phenomenal. Mm -hmm. the, uh, the vision is phenomenal. The ride quality, performance from the 3.6-liter mm -hmm. uh, V6 is phenomenal. Great fuel economy, hands-free lift gate. You wipe your All foot right. under the, uh, the rear bumper. You get a hands-free lift gate. Uh, some really cool features. One of the things that they did while we were in Photo Island mm -hmm. is uh, a head-up display is optional, lane departure warning, all the safety technologies there, James. Yeah, now, uh, but we had a chance to have community hosts show us around Photo Island. Mm -hmm. So not only did we get the history of a, a very unique place, we had a chance to do it in some really cool crossover utilities. I just want to give big ups to uh, Cadillac for producing the uh, XT5. Also got a chance to ride in the new Escalade, which is vastly improved over the old Escalade. Uh, so we'll be talking about that. I have one on my schedule for this month. So at some point later this month, we'll be talking about the uh, Cadillac Escalade as well. For more information, you can go to Cadillac.com and be sure to uh, cross shop the XT5 if you're looking at the mm -hmm. BMW X3 uh, or mm -hmm. X1 or X5. You need to cross shop the Audi Q5 or uh, Q7. Cross shop with Cadillac. Any of the Ford products like the Edge. Uh, if you're looking at any of the uh, Korean cars, the Kia Sorento or the Hyundai Santa Fe, since you, you brought it to yourself it, to, to it, cross shop with uh, with Cadillac, they're not all in the same price range. But if you're looking for that size of SUV crossover utility, then this might be the one for you. And I agree. What I was wondering now, here's the thing: I've been getting a lot of comments from, and I wanted to ask you to do this test driving. I'm seeing advertisements from other manufacturers out there, not just Cadillac. They're talking about blind spot avoidance, talking about uh, aut autonomous, not autonomous driving, but automatic braking. Uh, I mean, we're seeing Volkswagens talk. I mean, where you don't even brake it, it does it for you. Is this going to be standard on these Cadillacs and all the cars coming up in the next year or two? Because everyone keeps asking me, is this something that's going to be mandated by the government and all cars? Because it's pretty neat. My wife says, I want that on the car. 
And I'm going, okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, it's got, the uh, Cadillac certainly has um, advanced safety systems. It's got pedestrian collision mitigation. Uh, yes. It's got side blind zone alert. Good. Yes, to answer your question, uh, Cadillac, the XT5 is full tilt with safety, Good. available standard and available safety technology. And yes, in a number of years, you'll start to see manufacturers just automatically put it in. You know, the, the federal government mandated electronic stability control. What a lifesaver. Mm -hmm. Let's hope that they don't have to mandate these safety systems and the uh, automakers will see the benefit of just including them as standard equipment because, boy, do they save lives. Do they I mean, ever. It's a simple lane departure warning system. Yes. You know, you're behind the wheel, you're lunching a little bit, you get a nice little reminder that somebody beside you. <laughs> I'm sure it saved thousands of, uh, of dollars in accidents and lives over the years. I know it saved me a couple of times. Uh, yes, it's so true because that, that blind spot avoidance, I just getting back from a trip last week, you know, if you're not careful, you, people get in your blind spot, you try to move yeah. over and it's, it's not good. And this thing will tell you, Hey, there's somebody in your blind spot. Don't move. And it, if I'm not mistaken, doesn't it not allow you to go over? Or is, I don't know how it works. Well, there there are systems that will give you a gentle tug if you uh, try to. Uh, that's usually what the uh, mm. uh, lane departure warning system. With blind spot monitoring, no, they just alert you via light or a or a, a buzzer mm. or a, a beep. Uh, the ones that give you the tug and keep you in your lane are the lane departure warning ah. systems which use cameras to read the road, and they see you cross a yellow or a white line, then uh, some systems will give you a gentle vibration, a haptic vibration, like the Cadillac systems will, will give you vibrations in your butt to let you know <laughs> that you have a pedestrian ahead or behind, or if you've crossed over uh, into some kind of warning zone, uh, and, and gently move you back. The Cadillac will gently move you back into your lane. Mm. Uh, some will, will kind of yank you back into your lane. Um, <laughs> which, uh, you know, can be good or bad, but, um, yes, kind of like full tilt with safety. Uh, as a matter of fact, one of the safest small SUVs, uh, crossover utilities out there, look for good numbers from the Insurance Institute of Highway Safety as they've gotten good numbers already from, uh, from NHTSA. That government sounds, uh, crash testing that sounds wonderful. That's better than having my wife grab a hold of the steering wheel and yank it back. That's, that's, been, my, that's been my crash avoidance <laughs> system. <laughs> you dummy, pull, come back over here. Departure warning. <laughs> yeah, that's, she said, you can't do that. She'll reach over and pull me back. I said, right, baby. I said, you're better than you know, what's mandated on some of these cars out here. But no, that, is, that is pretty interesting. It really is, Brian. Now, you're going to be talking about what kind of car next week. Do you have any idea yet, or is it going to be up? We haven't decided yet. I, I, I haven't quite decided okay. yet because, you know, I've been on the road with Cadillac, and uh, that was the, a multi-day mm -hmm. trip, and just trying to get caught up on a few things. Uh, probably we'll talk about the Infiniti QX60, mm. another uh, you, uh, utility vehicle, mm. or either the Jeep, uh, the new Jeep Cherokee, which uh, departs my uh, property today. And I've really been impressed with um, how Jeep, uh, let's talk about the Jeep. Yeah. I've been super impressed with how uh, Jeep has really upped the game yep, in feet. terms of... yes. You know, the quality, uh, I spent a week with the car, I drove it over 500 miles, and I'm, I'm super impressed with mm -hmm. the fuel economy returns I got on the, uh, mm -hmm. on the uh, Cherokee. And, um, and, you know, it was just, it's just put together well, and, and Fiat Chrysler has had some issues lately with uh, quality control, so it's nice to see that this one is screwed together extremely well, and Jeeps are selling very, very well right now. I can believe so it. we'll talk about the Jeep Cherokee uh, next week, James. Sounds we'll great. I with. love that. That's one of my favorite cars to work on. No, they're not bad to work on, but Fiat Chrysler, you have to have Fiat Chrysler software, or you ain't going to Now, you it. told me, uh, do, do I have like a minute? You have, uh, no, we have ten, 15 seconds. Okay, you, <laughs> you said you had SRXs in your shop. Yes, uh, we, as you loaner cars. Upgrade, uh, there are loaner cars for your shop. Right. You look to upgrade. You know, but certainly look at the new ones if you like uh, the experience you've had with the. I'm going to. Thanks I, for having me on. You're very welcome, Brian. I will see you next week. Bye bye, everybody. Hey, it's James Morris. We'll talk to y'all tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. on WPGX Fox 28. Bye bye, everybody. James Auto Center, we fix it right, guaranteed. Beep 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 beep. Yeah.